what's up guys let me give you the definition of what's a trajectory in thermodynamics and in thermodynamics we are going to see that the path actually matters because it's the way a process is followed and we're going to see that sometimes some paths require a lot of heat sometimes the path requires a lot or nothing at all of work and so on and we're going to be playing a lot with this let me show you an example because maybe it sounds very abstract Imagine we have state 1, state 2, state 3, and state 4. And they have, of course, independent path. Let me show you that I could achieve 1 to 3 in two type of ways. Either I go 1, 2, 3, or I go 1, 4, 3. Look that I always start from 1 and finish in 3. But the path is totally different. Actually, let me show you. 1 to 2 will be... Uh, I don't know, isothermal, and 2 to 3 will be isovolumetric. In the other case, 1 to 4 will be isovolumetric, and 4 to 3 will be adiabatic. What's adiabatic? No heat exchange. So probably the heat required here will be a lot, or maybe the work required to go from 1 to 4, it's a lot of work, and you end up adding more, etc. That's what I want you to show you guys, that even though we are achieving the one state to the three state, third state, we are going from state one to state three, we are using different processes, for example, isovolumetric process to different pressures, and then we achieve adiabatic processes, etc. And we'll be adding Q, W, difference in pressure, difference in volume, entropy, etc. So that's awesome guys, we're going to be analyzing that changes and I think it's totally worth it because you're going to find out that there are many processes that are zero efficient at all and then you're going to find some processes that are more efficient and if you are in maybe in a plant or you're working with a thermodynamic uh, I don't know, a project and you find out an opportunity to lower the heat com consumption or lower the work done or the electricity required to a process you will get, of course, a lot of value to the company. What's up, guys? It's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.